can start washing your incision after the tape, incision, and uh, stitches are gone. And you know what's really cool? I mean, if your scar is closed by day four, it's pretty amazing. Just be gentle and make sure you dry it thoroughly. For the most part, yes. Painful sex after cesarean uh, and vaginal stitches is common, but it doesn't have to be your new normal. So two tips on that. Number one, make sure you go and see a pelvic health physio. I mean, that internal assessment is super important for your vaginal stitches. Secondly, for the cesarean birth recovery, scar massage is a thing. Scar tissue can adhese or stick down to the many fascial layers. It can actually pull up on your pelvic floor fascia and cause painful sex. So make sure you do your scar massage as well. Scar massage may be helpful, but the best thing to do at one and a half years postpartum is to find out the cause of your uh, C-section shelf. So what I'm going to do is link a free resource below. It's going to talk about over eight different causes of a C-section shelf. And uh, when you can determine what your cause is, then you can take the next step towards seeing the appropriate professional. This can happen, but don't let it be your new normal. So here are the two suggestions I would make. First is really make sure your ABCs are solid. Running is a high impact activity that requires a lot of core control. So ABCs, alignment, breathing, core control, that's huge. And the second part is to make sure you actually just have plain old strength specific to running. So I'm going to link a free resource to uh, a list of 13 tests you want to try to do on your own to see if you're ready for postpartum running. At three weeks postpartum, whether vaginal or cesarean birth, start with your A, B, Cs. These are safe and these are absolutely wonderful to be able to do through your daily activities. Alignment, breathing, core control. Uh, this is where I start with all my athletes. Whether you're pregnant, newly postpartum, or years postpartum, I'll link more information below. Just curious, are you in the early weeks and months post cesarean and are looking for all the tips and are potentially interested in a mini workshop? I just ran one, but um, you know, if there's interest, I'll run it again. Uh, just add your name to the waitlist below and then let's see what the numbers are. If you're two years post cesarean and you've never done scar massage, it can absolutely be helpful and there's so many different types of massages that you can still do. Um, so let me know if, if you are six months or further post cesarean, if you're interested in a mini workshop about scar massage for that stage of healing, can you add your name to the waitlist below for this type of workshop? Um, because again, if there are numbers, let's run it.